Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Please don't try to make anything fit that do doesn't. Okay, we have six of water. Memories from the past with seven of fire. Someone's having trouble letting go of the past here. Their feelings, their emotions, they're holding on. It feels like for dear life, but I see someone in preservation mode. Uh, something that they were able to release here, uh, they feel that they regret and they're holding on to it for dear life. Uh, holding back, I should have expressed myself better with runner. I don't want to run anymore. Someone's definitely wanting to address how they feel and not run away from it. Overall energy, we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is about change, okay? Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, things are constantly uh, up and down, going with the ebb and flow of life. So this is about bringing change here to a situation or a cycle for quite a while. So we have Knight of Swords, Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles for your energy this week. So this is actually a really good um, pivotal week for you where you start to head into March and April. This is two months where you have a lot of progress happening. So if you felt stuck, like things aren't just going your way or moving here, especially financially for some, you feel like you, you know, work really hard, but then it goes away really fast. And uh, it's because you take care of a lot of people. For some of you, you have a lot of people that depend on you as well. And there's just not much left for you, even emotionally. I feel that you are drained here, but uh, you're finally seeing that things are moving in a better direction. You're starting to get a lot of peace and happiness as we move into the next two months. So their energy, we have six of pentacles, magician, and the seven of wands. Again, so they are in this uh, preservation mode. It's like a time capsule. They want to hold on to that moment and seal it so that it stays like that forever. But they realize that uh, they've done something here, Magician Six of Pentacles, that has caused a disruption in this connection to where it can't go back to the way it was. And this is something that it's hard for them to deal with because they realize they're uh, at fault or responsible. Tell them the Seven of Wands. King of Cups. So I see they're living in their head at the current moment, really fantasizing here about you, wanting things to be real, but fantasizing about the past, uh, how things were, this love, and uh, how you were feeling about them before they really messed things up. They feel like, you know, they just want to preserve that in a sense, but they realize that time's ticking here. They have to do something in the 3D realm here, as well as uh, knowing that you are somebody that they truly cherish and that they should have in the past. Let their thoughts overwhelm them and never really let their heart lead the way here. I see already a manipulation of their feelings and emotions and taking it out on you. Lovers, Seven of Cups, Tower, and the Strength card, yes. This was a very confusing situation. They did take out a lot of things on you. They were projecting towards you at times in some uh, very conflicting ways. So it was hard for you to know why they were constantly detaching here, holding back and taming themselves from the love that was truly here. You couldn't figure out why they were trying to play these games. You're very confused as well, Seven of Cups lovers, that why they just wouldn't choose to open up and really embrace this connection for what it is. You felt like they were constantly trying to find something wrong with this connection or you at times. Uh, Tell me the tower. Just really not seeing what was truly right in front of them. Queen of Wands. Yeah, that you are... Uh, who you say you are, you are as amazing as uh, they feel you are, but trying to find something wrong, I see a negative aspect here. Instead of looking at the positive, they always focused on things that could go wrong or making things up in their head uh, that you were doing as well. Uh, just trying to confuse themselves and therefore they wouldn't have to make a decision. They can stay in their comfort zone. Eight of Wands, tell me the Eight of Wands. Seven of Swords, you are very intimidating to them. So 
this love became so hard uh, to handle for them. They fell deep and hard in the very beginning. And with the Eight of Wands, Seven of Swords, it's like, I'm going to find out what's wrong with them. I'm going to find out, you know, that this is not uh, really what I think it can be because there's no way that this person can be this amazing here. So I see they stirred up some trouble. They pushed your buttons, uh, caused some conflicts here, really projecting their emotions on you. Uh, seeing how you handle things. So for some of them, they really did test you and to your limits here. And you just, I see you over here going, I just don't understand why. We're, we're completely compatible here. We feel the same way towards each other. I thought we were on the same page. Why are you trying to mess this up? Because some of the things that were happening just seemed uh, senseless. Temperance, Three of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. Yeah, the fact that this bond was so deep, there was uh, an underlining uh, chemistry here that felt like it can't be broken. But it felt like this person was sabotaging it, always trying to uh, break this connection apart, sabotage it in a way, because they weren't willing to work with you. In fact, they were always trying to conspire against this. And uh, you just didn't understand why they just wouldn't cut it off then because I see that they were conflicted inside wanting to uh, prove themselves right that okay this is a love like this doesn't exist a person like this does not exist I have to figure out what's wrong here and uh, every time they did or they were testing you they got frustrated because things were always on the up and up you were exactly who you say you are and I see that they caused a lot of imbalance here. It felt like there was more chaos or more struggle in this connection than at them actually spending time uh, embracing this connection with you or enjoying them fully. And I see you got to the point here, you had to really decide for yourself, you know, what was healthier, Queen of Swords, because you were constantly heartbroken as well. And always felt like you had to put your guard up because you didn't know what they were up to because they were acting very odd, suspicious. And at times uh, it felt like that they were just playing a game here. I do see somebody that put off this energy as if they had something else going on or someone on the side. And uh, trying to make you feel jealous or trying to make you feel upset or frustrated. But at the same time, they couldn't let you go. They kept coming back for more because they were addicted to this energy and their heart would overwhelm them at times where they just wanted to feel this love, get a fix off of this uh, connection, such as the Six of Cups. You made them feel comfortable. You made them feel like home. Okay, so Moon, Judgment, Four of Wands, and the Eight of Cups for what they're about to do. So I see them leaving an environment or a mindset behind here, ready to step up to the plate. We have something amazing coming towards you. All will be revealed, and it's going to alter this connection forever. So this is a blessing in disguise. So if this reading is resonating with you, in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.